market is splendid. We now turn from a cathedral of consumerism to one of transportation, Los Angeles New Union Station, located downtown and built by the MTA next to the original. It opened a few months back and already is the hub of Southern California's expanding web of subway, train, and trolley lines. But its builders want it to be more than just a dreary way station for harried travelers. They want it to be a place of civic pride and beauty, a place as many train stations of the 1920s and 30s were that uses public art to intrigue the senses and provoke the mind. We recently paid it a visit to see more. I think that, that art plays a number of different roles, actually, and it really depends on the individual and what they bring to this place. Um, for some people, the art is something that's beautiful. For some people, maybe they don't even notice it until they've been through here 20 times and all of a sudden they realize, oh my goodness, there's a little thing over here and I wonder what that is. They might not even know that it's art. I really think that it, it, it provides something when somebody's waiting they can appreciate it, but if somebody's running past, maybe it's just a sort of a, a brief reminder as they run past that, um, I don't know, transportation doesn't have to always be a dreary experience. There are a number of artists that worked here alongside, again, the engineers and the architects, and they each had a, a different idea, but there were some underlying themes that they were all interested in. And one of those was the history of this site. We're in one of the most amazingly rich historical sites in Los Angeles. This is the site of the Shoshone Indian tribes. This was a major crossroads for them. Um, and then later on, the Pobladores, who settled Los Angeles, um, came here and founded their, their first sort of Pueblo or first city right on the banks of the LA River. But the artists were interested in trying to bring back that history, the history of the river, the history of the Shoshone, the history of uh, the Pobladores, and the history of Chinatown, and the history of uh, the building of Union Station. All of those things and combine them here and let people as they pass by kind of catch a glimpse of that history and learn something. One of the projects that's dispersed throughout the area are a series of railings um, done by a local artist here. And the whole idea there is it's entitled Guardians of the Track. So it's supposed to guard all of us that work here as well as our transit customers as they go through and make sure that they have a nice, safe journey. Well, I think one of the projects that I, I notice people really just uh, really enjoy in a very fun way is a light project that's downstairs. Um, which plays a trick on your eye and you stand there and some people see an image and some people don't. They enjoy it because it's quite beautiful, just these dancing lights. But somebody else will say, oh, do you see that image? And they'll say, oh, no, I just thought I was seeing, you know, dancing lights. The bus shelters that are outside here, which is our first permanent bus project, those are sort of shaped almost like organic forms, leaves, and they echo very well, I think, with the paving patterns, this idea of the, the river again, and the landscaping in the area. And one of the things that I find really, really, really exciting about these projects is that everyone brings their different idea to them. I mean, I see an organic form. Someone else sees a skeleton form and thinks it's a reference to fish skeletons. Another says, oh no, it's a reference to dinosaur skeletons. Someone else says, oh, you know, it looks like an airplane wing. Um, all of those things are right. I think that one of the things that Metro Art tries to do is to connect the various different communities in Los Angeles through our transit system. And I notice uh, oftentimes people that are either waiting for a bus or they just happen to be walking by and they're, they, they stop in front of, a, of an artwork and somebody else who doesn't know them at all just happens to be passing by also stops and they strike up a conversation and I think that's sometimes one of the most beautiful things that I see happening in this, in this uh, center is, is seeing people make literally those connections uh, with one another 
it's almost as though they're waiting for something to talk about and art is a wonderful, a wonderful thing to talk about. These projects are expected to be here for a minimum of 100 years. The artwork may have a different meaning for someone in 100 years than it does today. Um, but hopefully it will still have, a, you know, a powerful, a powerful meaning. Just a historical note, not all the red lights in that part of town were on the trains. They have recently unearthed uh, evidence of a 100-year-old brothel district, a red light district down near Union Station. Obviously, we have the camp followers of the trains. Anyway, the new Union Station is located at the corner of Cesar Chavez and Vignes and is a walk away from the exquisite old Union Station, which is well worth your visit. If you wish to find out more about the MTA's public art programs, call 213-922-4ART. Symbol of fate. Really, Los Angeles. It was the first people. A wedding dress. Between the category of show at the Hollywood Bowl, indelibly etched. But then. The great irony of that. If you were met with a big gulf of course, in Los Angeles, the first thing. The first suburban area. The mecca of Ibiza. Uh, and the irony. Too fearful to drive too far east. And of course, the riot. Really, uh, it's heartbreaking. Now the South Wales Council is going to be putting its library. It has a happy ending. Architect in charge of the 